Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we're hopping into some brand new tabs. That's right, this is the new tabs. Look at it, look at the new splash screen and all that. So huge a thank you to Landfall Games for letting me get like a, about 18 minutes of footage for this. This is absolutely awesome. And we're gonna be hopping in and enjoying this together. So, so far you can see that this is the new campaign gameplay. And as you can see, we started, I don't know if you noticed, we started with only one unit. That's right, so we kind of got this very basic, what appears to be like a farmer type unit. And then we have to defeat the man with horns on his ears. We win! Huzzah! That's the new wind splash screen. And after you win, you have to hit space to continue. You can see some of the dudes, uh, well, they kind of derp out. <laughs> They're being pretty- Oh! That guy hit a stump. <laughs> They're kind of derpy for a while, but this is- the, This is awesome. This is the new way the campaign's gonna work. You unlock units as you progress in it. So, because we just defeated this dude right here, right? Whoa! We got the spear unit. Stick him with the pointy end, and also these animations are on fleek. You can see the cost is 30. They got one star health, one star sharpness, one star attack speed and five range, so each unit kind of has like actual stats now, which is, well, pretty freaking awesome. There you can see we're up against, uh, probably it's kind of looking like shields with face holes. One looks like it's a rotten shield, that one had like some green ick on it. Oh no, they all got green ick on them. <laughs> but as you can see now, we now got our spear unit that we can start utilizing. We had about like 480 money. So we'll start plopping these things down, make kind of like a reverse V formation. And yeah, that's the gatherer. So it's like, it's like a glorified farmer. You know, it's nothing super insane. But let's plop it down a couple more of these. There we go. Voila! This is like some sort of a bird flock, and we're gonna be going after all these shield men. You can also see at the top, there is a bar. You got the red bar and the blue bar. I'm pretty sure the blue bar represents, well, it represents kind of like the team health. I think the blue bar, they might depend on how many units you have, but you can see as the fight goes on, that thing does start getting depleted, and this is looking- Holy shit, you see that shield fly? Oh! Is that slow motion for the last kill? Hell yeah, it is! That's awesome! Okay, okay, hell yeah, man, keep running off, and units unlocked, dun-dun, 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 we got the guy with the goofy-ass mofo with the shield, the protector, flavor text, 40 health, 3 health, oh, not 40 health, 40 cost, 3 health, everything else normal, so he's definitely gonna be a bit more of a tankier unit, although he is gonna cost a bit more, uh, it's looking like we got, Couple of units kind of spread out, chilling. Oh, what the hell was that guy doing? What the? What in tarnation? <laughs> Did you guys see that? What is this? Is that guy, is that guy a ball in the corner? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> but, ah, uh, yeah, we're definitely going to want to make use of some of these shields, though. These are going to be great protectors. Uh, maybe even plop some spearmen behind them. That could be pretty useful. We'll kind of spread them out a little bit here. And these guys are going to have a whole ton of health. Throw some gatherers right behind them. Gathers, I don't know, I, ah, I never saw the stats on the gathers. I think it's about, I'm guessing they're gonna be about the same as a spear unit, except like slightly weaker. So maybe have a couple spear units in behind. And these are some interesting formations I'm seeing here. I'm liking these formations. Oh, they throw rocks at us. Oh my God, what, they're throwing rocks. Oh, oh, that guy caught one in the pelvis. Oh God, oh God, oh my God. They're like, okay, these shields were definitely a great call. Because the rock throwers are- Oh! Oh! Get the shield pipe. <laughs> These rock throwers though, uh, this is not- we're, is The bar at the top says things are looking good, but I don't know. These rock throwers look pretty deadly. So I think the top- mm, Maybe it's not the Maybe it is determined by like how powerful of a unit. Look at how badass they're looking, man. You can even see through the peepholes. Oh! Well, that guy's dead. <laughs> Yo, no, dude, the shoot. Oh, well, he's dead. Well, this is like the last little barrage. I'm gonna be excited to unlock some of these guys, though. This stuff is gonna be juicy. Hello, goodbye. <laughs> you won! Yay! What do we got? New unit. Is that the rock thrower? Yeah, he's got a rock in his hand. The ro oh, that's actually his name, the rock thrower. <laughs> Flavor text. 50 cost range, 5 meters. So, this is our first ranged unit. And, oh, we're going up against, uh, what are those people in the back? Are those shamans of some sort? I don't, I don't know. They sketch me out. You guys see that? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. 
Yeah, why don't we start with a couple of spearmen? Yeah, yeah, I think that'll work. Okay, so we got a good amount of spearmen there. We got a lot of money to toy with. I'm just, I'm kind of scared though, because I don't know what to expect. What to expect, the one shield, the shield will tank everything. I don't know what to expect out of those people in the back, and I'm kind of horrified. All right, there we got, oh, oh, Jesus, we got the rock throwers. Hell yeah. Hell no. What is that? What is that? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Okay, we got to start throwing rocks a little bit faster, boys. We got to knock them out. Pelt them. Pelt them with the sedentary rocks, damn it. Oh. Oh, that's a concussion. Actually, I think he died before we could diagnose him with a concussion. Woo! Victory! And is this is is this some is his name Shaman? It's got Axeman. Axeman? I don't know, that dude. Last I checked, axes don't cause uh large bone like oh there we go, the mage. Damn, talk about a retro mage. So as you guys can also see, all of this stuff is also... <laughs> make them spin. All of this stuff is going to be out of kind of the first phase. The new Stone Age faction. Which they've kind of been working on quite a bit lately. The Stone Age faction, of course, being uh, pretty freaking dope. Oh, we gotta slay the map. Let's wait, a mammoth? Uh... How much money we got? 1800. Hmm. Uh, you know, I think mages are definitely gonna be our best friend here, uh, cause... A mammoth? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Alright, let's get that long line of them. A couple of these mages right behind. Kinda scatter a couple rock throwers. Right there in the back. Huh. Yeah, this thing's got me sketched out. I've never seen a mammoth with face paint either. That kinda makes it 50 times more horrifying. Okay, so looking at the top, yeah, he- Oh my god, look at that guy's trunk just flick- Oh, R.I.P. R.I.P. Look at everything. So, I think that's kind of the combined health of everything. And right now, uh, this mammoth looks like he's not going to die at all. This is- this is- this is great. Oh, well, oh, dude, our one unit right there, though. He's kind of like doing three sit. No, he- I think he died. No, he's still there. He's still there, right under the mammoth. The mage is trying to do his best. Oh, yeah, mammoth. Oh, ugh. oh my god, he's just swinging his tusks. <laughs> R.I.P. Oh, man. Uh, I want to unlock this thing. Oh, well, uh, you know, <laughs> maybe, yeah, those rocks aren't, uh, those rocks aren't going to be able to do much. Sorry there, bub. All right, you lost. Damn it. Hmm. What could we possibly do about the mammoth? I don't even know. We might need to try a few things because that thing, at least look, if, if the health bar at the top is what I think it is, this is, uh, this thing's gonna be quite tough. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't think may- oh, we actually did a good amount of damage to him though, but this guy, like, he's been- he's able to just, like, swing everything in, like, a 360 degree radius and just kind of poop on people. Look at him, look at him go! Oh, man. Oh man, I love his derpy little eyes. Look at them blink. <laughs> oh, it's these two again. These two, weren't they the last survivors last time? You guys just kinda... Oh, oh, I got a trunk to the face right before the end too. Those guys are not looking like the... <laughs> not, not like they're having fun. But I think the way that the campaign might now work, since we do unlock units as we progress, Right? I think, like, that means, like, after we beat the first, kind of like the Stone Age, we'll move on to the next one. Now, I wonder... I wonder if that'll actually give us, uh, we'll use the same units from, like, the Stone Age and future ones. Or if to unlock the new units, we start with, like, HOLY HELL! Talk about airtime! Oh, yeah, there we go. So, lots of rocks. I'm, I got a good feeling about this. Like, we, if we, if we kind of spread them out a good amount here. Oh, dude, he's... Oh, we're overpowering him. Down goes the mammoth. Yes. Yes. Oh, we are feasting tonight, boys and girls. We are... Did I unlock the mammoth? Did we unlock the mammoth? We did. Another one. Oh, Stone Age and Farmer's up there. Would you look at that? Still, mammoth costs a thousand to play with. Would you look at that? So right now, this is going to be a little bit more on the uh, custom side as well. In case you guys are wondering, this is custom battles right here. Uh, <laughs> my god, this guy's getting pooped. Oh my god. Mammoths are going to be a very, 
very fun unit to mess around with as soon as that happens. But, aw, uh, we got the one survivor. She's... Man, he's not in for a fun time. Aw, uh, uh, death by Tusk. I would not wish that to anyone. Like, Tusks are a very painful way of going out. But uh, here you can see kind of the new custom battles, how that's going to work. Uh, so far, we're only able to mess around with uh, the Stone Age stuff and also the farmers up there. I'm not sure what that is. And, ooh, got some rock throwers up on the blue team. The mages are super cool. I'm very excited to mess around with those some more whenever we get the opportunity. Oh, slow motion rock throwers. It looks like shields re- Oh, ho, ho. That mage counters a lot, I feel like, though. That mage's ability. Actually, not really anyone died from it. I feel like the mage's ability is going to be best. Oh, my God. Death by wooden shield to face. That's a shitty way to die. <laughs> but I feel like the best way, or what that mage is really good for, is kind of disrupting formations. It doesn't look like he kills too easy. Oh, my God. Death by wooden plank. That's awful. It doesn't look like he kills too easily. But he can really knock people down, which is pretty freaking useful. And uh, what else do we... We can mess around with the X-Men a little bit? Yeah, and then at the bottom, you can still see we got red spent, blue spent, how many units on each side. Performance, same as before. But I really think that health bar... Oh, was that friendly fire? Rock throwers, watch out. Yeah, these X-Men. I wonder if they can take out the shields. Oh, the X-Men are doing a pretty good job, actually. Talk these X-Men are powerful. God damn. Well, I think the Axemen are a pretty good counter to those Stone Age shields. Those should be pretty fun. But I'm just loving the direction the campaign's taken, though. Because that's, like, that's a super cool concept to me. That if we have to go through the entire campaign and kind of unlock each unit as we progress, maybe not maybe not for custom battles. It'd be kind of cool if we could have everything in custom battles right away uh, just to mess around with them. But the campaign, I feel the campaign could be super cool since we do have to kind of unlock everything one by one. And I just think there's a lot of cool potential for that. That just, I, I, I think that gives it a little bit of progression. And I feel like progression is just a really good way of kind of, I don't know, like that sense of, I love games that have that sense of progression where like through gameplay, you know, like I've gotten farther. And you know, unlocking new units, I think that's a pretty good way of doing progression. And holy hand spasms, Batman, what is going on with these guys? Look at him. Oh, that poor guy's on the ground. He's taking a seat. He's closing his eyes like, don't hurt me. Do not hurt me. Stay away, you nasty blues. Oh, yeah, this guy's surrounded. He's, he's, he's getting axed to death. I love these noises that they make. Oh, yeah, he's, he's getting boned. Oh, look at that stone. Oh, no, that stone just flew by. Blue victory. Huzzah! Huzzah! All right. Time to mess around with the mammoth a little bit more seriously. Oh, this mammoth is probably gonna be my favorite thing by far. It just looks, I just, I just, okay. Dirty secret if you guys don't know, when it comes to tabs, I freaking love just OP units, okay? I don't know why. They're always the most fun to mess with. Uh, right now, it looks like we might want to add in a little bit. There we go, that's pretty even, 1600, 1600. We'll see who's more powerful, these shields, man. I don't know how they're gonna fare against the freaking mammoth, yeah. Oh. R.I.P. Yeah, shields don't protect you from- Oh, mama, this thing, it's, it's like a lawnmower for people, man. Nice. Nice. That thing is just taking everything out. Oh my god, poor, poor, poor souls. Oh, the mage is dead. The mage is dead. Yeah, <laughs> this mammoth, I, the only way I can really, the best way of taking this guy out is seriously, you're just gonna want absolutely maximum rock throwers. Or just, eh. Okay, if we're talking Stone Age rock throwers, but like once it becomes like cut in like custom battles with every unit, you just want ranged units for this guy because this is just a walking freaking tank. And oh, <laughs> I just I love the physics in this game. That guy knows he's screwed. He stopped. He stopped throwing the rocks. He's like, I accept my fate. There you go. He kind of flopped a little bit, looking like LeBron. Uh, oh, the mammoth is coming back. See, I don't think. Is, like maybe there's strategies to poke out his eyes with the stones so he can't see but oh right in the ear ah it's gonna be an ear infection uh he's starting to swing everything oh no their time is limited oh he survived he got one more rock off can this man david versus goliath the man yeah no he really can't oh ooh, he got him a little bit on the crouch and here this is the farmer faction what do we got here 
Ooh la la, the sickle. Oh, comrade, this makes Popeye happy. Popeye can make very powerful uh, the army to take down proletariat. Should be pretty easy. We will have uh, workers uprising. Oh my god, these farmers look a little bit chubby. Yo, they got hops for days. Look at that. Are they trying to suplex the goddamn farmers? Oh my god, what's going on? Oh, this is going to be a fun new faction to play with. The halflings. Oh my god, they're like kangaroos. Kind of, if kangaroos wrestled. This is dope. Okay, this is pretty even. Five, 560, 560. These halflings, what the hell? Oh my god, they're just... They're going kamikaze on the blues. Look at that crap. They're just jumping up and all that. Uh, it's not looking... It looks like... I mean, they're pretty good at jumping, but they kind of just fought like they killed a couple blues, really. Not, not too great there, unfortunately. Not too great. This is super cool, though. Two brand spanking new factions. This is going to be freaking amazing. What do we got? Are these just normal? No, those are the sickles. Oh, cool. oh look at this. See, this makes this makes Popeye very happy Russian. This is all my the halflings stand no chance. Proletariat halflings get out the way. The sickle will be most powerful. Nothing take down the sickle. Where is hammer? Popeye need find hammer as well. <laughs> all right, clear those out a little bit. Right, the wizard. We got freaking Gandalf. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> An army of halflings versus Gandalf. Who will win? Who will come out on the top this time? Nobody knows. Look at him. He's got a smoker's pipe. He's got a sword, a staff. He's inspecting his grass, making sure all is well over there. Oh. Now he faces his gaze towards the halflings. Like, what, what could he possibly do here? Like, the halflings are getting the jump on him. You gotta. Where are the spells, wizard? Oh my god, he just, he's just kind of tanking them all on one arm. Look at that. He doesn't get these... Oh, he's got the sword. This is like a battle mage. Because he's not... Oh... I think I see God. A sweet mama Jesus. Well, that man's going... That I think that man made an appointment with God because he's flying on over there. <laughs> Holy hell, that's what the wizard does? That's his special ability? This... Oh, mama. Oh, mama. I am excited for the wizard. 2,500 seems a bit steep, but after seeing that ability, this could be one of my new favorite units as well. But yeah, these two new factions, this is looking really up and up. I can't wait to kind of mess around with these once the game does come out. From what I'm hearing, it's supposed to be like late summer, early fall, something like that. But... Alas, that is all the footage that Landfall granted me. So huge thank you to Landfall again for like pretty much the 18 minutes of footage, which is absolutely awesome. Seriously appreciate it. If you guys are excited for tabs, make sure to hit that like button and let me know in the comment section down below. I would appreciate that as well. And uh, I'm just stupidly excited for tabs. This is... This is this this new update, man. Two new factions for sure, potentially more. Cause like they've been working on this game for a while since like the last update to like the public version of the game, which is really like I don't know. I feel like they really got something special in store. And from what I was seeing in this gameplay, man, it's oh man, it's gonna it's gonna be great. It really is. So I hope you guys are as excited as I am because this is gonna be it's gonna be a good update whenever this does come out and so we can mess around with it. Uh, favorite units? I would say Mammoth and Wizard are tied for number one because I just like the super powerful single units. I don't like making like huge armies. I, li I like making powerful beings. That's kind of what I prefer. But uh, let me know in the comment section what your new favorite unit out of all of these was. I also love the fact that they have like stats for every unit. I don't know why that's super cool. I'm kind of like a stat geek. Always love messing around with those. And uh, I kind of just love the whole like unlock progression through the campaign. That is going to be super awesome as well. Can't wait to see what the campaign holds for uh, for the farmers too. Because we were seeing some of the Stone Age gameplay there. But we didn't see any farmer. We didn't unlock any of those farmers on footage. So potentially they're automatically unlocked or something. Something like that. Or we had to do it ourselves. I'm not entirely sure there. Uh, so we'll, we'll, we'll see how custom battles is. That's the kind of one question I do want, want to see is how it's going to handle, how custom battles are going to be handled with this. If you have to unlock all the units through playing the campaign, which would be a cool way of getting people to play the campaign, but also potentially annoying if you just want to, you know, do epic battles. And I totally didn't just drop a dice I had in my hand for some reason. So I'm super excited. Hope you guys are as well. Uh, let me know in the comment section. 
and I just that that battle wizard man that mage whatever you want to call it whatever that spell is I I can't wait to see what else is in store because I feel like there has to be more units than this it's been a while they've been working on it but they've also probably been rehauling some of the engine stuff some jazz like that so I could totally understand if this is all the content quote unquote we see but uh, regardless it's freaking dope so I can't care so uh, whenever I get a chance to get some more footage and play it that's gonna be I will let you guys know so make sure you're subscribed for more tabs gameplay definitely keep an eye out there and uh, potentially if you guys want I could as they start releasing more footage slowly on their social media I could make videos on that kind of talking about that a little bit if you guys care at all because uh, tabs is freaking awesome and if you disagree that is okay because you have a right to disagree and I respect that right because I respect you because you sir are a pretty cool dude I mean you're watching you're like 20 minutes in this video so in my opinion you're pretty cool so uh, yeah and I totally am not just saying that so you subscribe to my, subscribe to my channel no but for real you're cool <laughs> but uh, yeah thank you a whole ton have yourselves a fan fantastic day and I will talk to you in the next one see ya